So a simple Wikipedia search, if you type in NEMA, you will see uh, National Electric Manufacturers Association is what NEMA stands for. You'll see all the different type of non-locking connectors here. And I'll focus on two of them. One will be the uh, NEMA 5 series and the other will be the NEMA 15. And if we click on NEMA 5, you'll see this typical 5-15 residential receptacle. And right above that is a 5-20, which you might have. It has a little T built into the receptacle. If you look at the web page for Tesla, you can see the Model S3, X, and Y here listed and all the different maximum miles per charge for the 515, which is the basic receptacle, the 20, which is that T receptacle. And you can see the 14-50 is much higher, 29 miles per charge versus three or four for those basic receptacles. And here's what they look like. So this NEMA adapter for the 1450 it has a little bit different plug. It's about $35 at least at the time of this video. And it gets you 29 miles for the Model Y. And you can see what, what other models there as well. So it's a huge difference, 29 miles per hour versus the three or four that, that are on these basic receptacle plugs. And so if I look at 1450, which is what I opt for, uh, excuse me, the, the NEMA 15 uh, here, 14-50, Fourteen series. I'm sorry, this is the wrong one. It's right above it here. The NEMA 1450 uh, are frequently found in RV parks. They're used for shore power and larger recreational vehicles. Um, and you can see here it's uh, mobile homes, but also says for the the new uh, a new application for Tesla mobile connector. And it's rec recommended for the installation of the 1450 receptacle for home use. And so that's what we I had installed. I'll show you what that looks like here momentarily in my garage and how I am connecting that to the vehicle and what I'm using. The other option is this wall connector here. You can see that this is a permanent fixture. It uh, comes in an 18 inch and an eight, or excuse me, 18 foot and eight and half foot cables. Um, it's a really nice design. It looks really great on the wall and you can get up to 44 miles uh, of range per hour using this with a 48 uh, amp output and has Wi-Fi, uh, et cetera. Like I said, it's a really sleek, good looking solution. If you click on this 44 miles per charge, they break it down just like the last uh, graph with the S3, X, and Y. And you can see, you know, at the, uh, at the maximum output of 48 amps, you're getting the 42 miles per charge on, the, um, on this wall charger. So I think the first option is to see, you know, what type of um, electrical outlets are in your garage and then kind of decide what technology to go with the wall mount or kind of the mobile connector. And again, I'll show you here uh, in, in my garage what I opted for and the solution that I selected. So when you buy your Tesla, it always will come standard with this little charging kit. Uh, and carrying case, which has kind of an adapter that you can use when you're at a super char a charger that, uh, that a public charger that doesn't have the right interface. Um, it comes with this adapter cable that's ready for a typical household plug, 115. And then the charger itself, this is called the mobile charger, which you will plug your adapter, your this adapter into. And then that has the, the port that gets plugged into the vehicle itself. So um, your choices at this point are to utilize, well, what, what Tesla would like is for you to utilize this mobile charger when you're in the, on the road and keep this kind of pack inside the car um, and then install a, a wall connector at your house um, or plug this in when, when you're at home. So after looking at the wall connector, which I'll show you here on the screen, um, it was about $500 for that. Uh, I opted to just install uh, a, a more powerful outlet in my garage and then um, purchase an adapter like this which looks very similar to the one that uh, they send but it's just um, has a different terminal on it and this one's for a NEMA uh, NEMA 50 uh, 14 excuse me NEMA 1450 adapter and you can see that there on the back and I'll show you a little bit more so uh, on how I did that so for about $400, I had an electrician come out and install a car charger um, breaker into the main circuit. And they kind of went up into the ceiling and just came back and around and down into this pillar here. And you can see here they installed this NEMA 1450. So this is much like a dryer outlet. Um, gets you the most kind of bang for the buck in terms of miles per charge 
Um, and then I installed this Tesla um, cable organizer. And I'll show you what this looks like when it's all plugged in together and, and, the, and then how it looks. You have your mobile connector, your input here. You just simply connect this into the side of the mobile charger. This slides right in from here like this, plugs into the outlet itself. And then this clip here kind of acts as just a cable holder. And so that. Now to actually charge, all you have to do is take the wand charger here and sit yourself, push the button next to the charger port. It will open. You'll see kind of a blue light there illuminate. And then you basically just press that in. It'll take a minute, you'll see it flash, and then eventually it'll turn green. And there it goes, and now the car is charging. And if you kind of just open the vehicle and look, you can see that it's, it's charging there and it gives you a amount of time left to charge. Please click that like button and subscribe if you like the video. And if